the conversations that so we you're, have. So you're saying I'm a racist. You haven't let me finish my statement. You keep okay. cutting me off. Go ahead. Okay. The emphasis that you place is always on having a discussion about race. Okay. You guys are insistent on having a conversation about race and telling us that we should see and implying that we should see race everywhere. And I don't agree with that. If you don't look at me according to the color of my skin, you would simply ask me how I thought that Trump was doing as a president. But instead, you try to drum up a conversation that's surrounded by race. I have actually had conversations with white liberals, and you, you will. You, they, Man, they, no. they, oh, they love black people. Man, Man when they get a hold of a black but person that yeah. doesn't get triggered by feelings, oh, boy. you see the beast come it's out of them. They are angry, frustrated. We had a white, we had a, a liberal, a white liberal person, a few <laughs> of them, but one, one that actually said to us, um, you're on the wrong side. You're black people. You're supposed to be on the, um, the democratic side. Everybody, welcome back to our channel. So, Crystal Ball and Candace Owens. This is years ago, right? I don't know what yeah. year it was. You can tell um, Candace looks so young. She looks so She's young. A little girl. Joining us to talk about the intense state of politics right now, we have Charlie Kirk, founder and president of Turning Point USA, and Candace Owens, Turning Point's communications director. They're in Washington to meet with the president. Welcome to you two. Charlie, what are you hoping that the president gets out of these interactions? Well, I first want to take a step back and just give Candace Owens credit for changing the national conversation around these issues from a conservative um, kind of perspective. What are you seeing that's different now, really? Like, why is it? I mean, to, to Charlie's point, he's saying that you've changed the conversation. How and why is the conversation different? It's funny that you say that because I did. I was able to meet with Dr. Ben Carson early on this year, and we spoke about that. Like, what are the differences? Why are people paying a little more attention now? And I think that, and, and to his credit, um, in the past, the conversation was almost so intellectual that it was hard for people to digest and process and to understand. And because the left had won the culture war, it was easy for them to mock them, you know, to see a skit where perhaps Dr. Ben Carson or Dr. Condoleezza Rice are being mocked. Um, and I think I'm a little more of a fighter, um, definitely in terms of starting my, my channel on YouTube and wanting it to be colloquial and wanting it to feel familiar like you were talking to your brother and sister and sort of taking back some of the turf that was lost on the culture war by making fun of people on the left in the same way that they make fun of us. I think that that sort of helped bridge the gap and make people more interested in having the discussion. Does it bother you that there's no prominent African Americans in the White House itself? Do you sure think that's there important? Is. Jerron, no, okay. Dr. Ben Carson's part of the executive branch. That's not true. You know that's not well, true. Well, within the White House Jerron itself. Jerron is an executive with what Jared is, Kushner. What is his role? He is a he's a DAP, which is a deputy assistant to the President of the United States, which is a top tier. So that's not true. You know, Who that's are other true. individuals in the White House? Well, I want to go back and answer your question. So yeah. the, and what one thing that we always speak when we when we speak to conservatives about is we have to stop believing in the solution that because somebody is black, they represent my interests. Mm -hmm. um, we learned that lesson via Barack Obama. I mean, he was in, in the White House for eight years and didn't do much for the black community. So I'm not interested in the color of people's skin. So I'm interested in what they do yeah. and what they so accomplish. I'm, I'm really interested in your perspective here. Yeah. So to you, <laughs> Candace, man, this okay. So that's racist rhetoric. That was a, so that's, no, the, thing. That was that's the thing is that it is hard to get black people to understand it. Because yeah. even in our comments, people say things like, you know, you you know, you're you're a sellout because you yeah. know no uh, the Republican parties that have a lot of black people in it. And if you look at the history of the Republican Party, well, first of all, we wouldn't be free. Exactly. <laughs> but but secondly, <laughs> it does just because a woman is in office doesn't mean that she's going to represent women. Doesn't mean right. that a black person is going to be in office. That they're going to represent a black person. Mm -hmm. Like she said, Obama was in office. He didn't represent black people. There are you know there I mean? are other races of community. people. Yeah. <laughs> there are other races of people that I agree with more than I agree with black yeah. people, and then the vice versa sometimes. And I think so a lot of people that. don't realize that it's it's not about black or white; it's about worldview. It is how you right. see the world, right. your worldview, your personal worldview. And if and it may not be that mm -hmm. you agree with, or I don't agree with a lot of black people. Right. Well, you know. So and so with, with conservative values mm -hmm. are what I agree with. So she seems like she's already um, hostile. Anyway, she's already mad. She started off with a hostile. If you look at her, she's just sitting there looking at Candace. She's not yeah. even looking at the other Charlie. I'm really interested in your perspective here. Yeah. So to you having, like you don't look at, you know, it is, it is an administration that has more white men than past administrations have had. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't bother you. You don't think that diversity no, is no, important? No, not at all. I, I, I think that we have to stop believing that diversity is the color of people's skin because if you have like the Black Caucus, for example, which didn't stand up and applaud when uh, 
Trump announced that we had the lowest ever unemployment in the black community, that's concerning to me. So a big part of the conversation that we open is in making people understand that's an illusion that the left has sold, that somehow because somebody matches my skin color, because somebody matches my gender, they have my best interests at heart, and that is completely fallacious. Uh, I, I, I have to ask about uh, Kanye. Like, you two <laughs> have been seen, photographed with, spend time with Kanye. He, uh, I, got, I got a tremendous, we have to speak about him on the show, got a tremendous amount of attention uh, from the media from a recent meeting in the Oval Office. How, how does he factor? Look, you know, I feel like conservatives play this game that we go back and forth. If anybody who's famous starts talking in any way that conservatives like, we embrace them right away, and then sometimes we feel like we get burned later. Right. They're not as conservative as we thought. Kanye has such a huge megaphone. He's obviously somewhat of a controversial figure as well, based on what he said in the past. Charlie, I just to start with you. I mean, how, how does he play into all this other than, I mean, I want to hear for both of you on this, but how does he play into all this other than just getting a lot of attention? You know what I mean? How, how is he changing the conversation? I'll be the first one to admit. I mean, I was your, your typical macroeconomic loving kind of conservative individual that wasn't part of the culture that, you know. You got a high paperback in your bag. Well, you I know what I mean. Like, like I yeah. became a conservative based on reading Frida Chews and Ludwig von Mises. And I think it's amazing that someone like Kanye West is broadening the conversation. And it was Candace that opened my eyes to this. And and I, I, I it wasn't that I was resistant, but I was like, really, Candace? <laughs> like, wait, what do you mean that we can? She said, no, no, you don't understand. From from one of the first times I met Candace, Candace said, Charlie, Kanye West can change the national conversation on these issues. And I think that he's more of a Trump supporter than people gave credit. In fact, Candace is on record with our friend Dave Rubin saying this back in September of 2017, kind of predicting the Kanye. Um, Movement, I guess you could say. <laughs> the Kanye movement. The Kanye that's, movement that's yeah. I'm going to use that word, I, and I, I think that's of, true. I've, all, I've sort of followed Kanye's career for a very long time, so when I was asked that question of who I admire, I said Kanye West, because he's always been, long before Donald Trump came down the escalator, it was Kanye West that's been the battering ram against political correctness, and I knew that someone with his personality wasn't going to be able to exist comfortably on the left anymore because we are now being told what to think. I think that Kanye West is one foot, one foot, one foot in and one foot out. Yeah, I mean, Kanye West is, is one of those people that, I mean, even when he started his church, yeah. I think that he has this thing where he is an independent thinker, but his business and everything mm -hmm. is tied to, to left wing, the left wing um, yeah. and Hollywood and right. the music industry, which is highly left wing liberal mm -hmm. um, world. You know what I mean? And so mm -hmm. for him, it's like, and he's also part of the, um, the left wing, you know, uh, designers. So he he's because he's a designer. Yeah. So his whole wealth is built. On these people yeah. who are mostly very liberal leaning, what do you call rich liberals? So he you know has one mean? foot in and one foot out. But I don't think he really necessarily thinks a mm -hmm. lot like them, which is why I think he's always in his head and yeah. always messing up. Right. It's because he contradicts himself a lot, and a lot of it is just because again, I think that he has he he has this conservative way mm -hmm. about him of thinking, free thinking. Mm -hmm. When I say conservative. But on the other hand, he has to play ball mm -hmm. because he's got a uh, business, um, a clothing line. Yes. He's got uh, his music, mm -hmm. and he's tied to the Kardashians, mm -hmm. and that that whole Hollywood, you know, area mm -hmm. that's mostly rich liberals. Because I do agree with her to extent that, mm -hmm. um, or them, to the extent that he can open a, he has mm -hmm. open a conversation especially within the black community, about, you know, politics in general. And, you know, I know he was for Trump and everything. Mm -hmm. So I think he can do that. But because he has the, the liberal ties um, professionally and conservative ties personally, it does kind of put him in this country. He can, like mm -hmm. you say, kind He's of, on a tightrope. Yeah, He's so it's, trying it is to... very interesting with mm -hmm. him. Because I do like Kanye West, but I do have, I, I, I can give criticism about him only because of that reason right there. Mm -hmm. So I can understand, I'm sure on, on his end, I don't know him, but I'm sure on his end, it, it could probably be a battle. Yeah. Trying to figure that whole, trying to navigate through that, you know, cause mm -hmm. he, you know, so I, I do agree with her on that. What to think, how we have to think, um, who we have to love, who we have to hate. And that's not comfortable for anybody that's an artist. And their stranglehold on culture is really what um, Kanye is sort of taking a stab at. Now, I want to be clear, based off of my conversations with him, he's not a Republican, you know, and I think that that's an important thing to distinguish and to, and to make clear distinction to make. Um, because in many ways, I've said I'm not a Republican either, but he is a free thinker and he values ideas. And unfortunately, if you believe in the ability to think and to have a dialogue, that is a position that's on the right today. So Candace, I do want to ask you about news of the day. So this is, and again, the way she's saying about Kanye is what he kind of said about her. When mm -hmm. he came out, he said he liked Candace Owens, probably because she was saying something different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Right. And that's why he is such a free thinker. And right. you know what I mean? And I do too. I like people like that. Mm -hmm. I like people who who say something else. Yeah. They're not always just saying the same thing or they right. give something new to they bring something new to the table. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so what he saw was this young black girl who was basically being ridiculed by the black community mm -hmm. because she was saying what they don't want her to say. Right. Exactly. And he thought that, he probably thought that was brave. Mm -hmm. And it is brave. Very brave. It's very brave. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because um, she's, you know, been treated pretty poorly mm -hmm. by her own community. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Believe me, when you start talking in, in a, in concern, <laughs> Yo. I don't have to tell you, you know, yeah. that black people don't really like you mm -hmm. when you, when you blow up their worldview. Mm-hmm. You right. start making them accountable. We don't, we don't fall in line. If you're, you're not falling in line, start yeah. about accountability right, on, yeah. on us. We get really, Ooh. really angry. So he probably saw something in himself in her. Like mm -hmm. he probably thought, like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. You, mm -hmm. On some level, you have to make your own decisions. So it may seem like strange bedfellows, but I feel like it's not with her and Kanye. But not I think really. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I kind of understand that. Obviously, we have all these explosive devices that have been sent to prominent critics of this administration. Right. And in a tweet, you originally said you thought there was zero chance conservatives sent bombs. I think you took that tweet down. Yeah. But, but you later added, it isn't conservatives that are chasing people down in offices and restaurants. It isn't conservatives that have weaponized sexual assault as a means to political gain. I stand by my opinion that when it comes to political violence, the left is the likely culprit. That's correct. So we And we've seen that. I so mean, you, you think that it was look, uh, the it, left or Democrats who sent well, these I think, Look, I, I think we're all entitled to have an opinion. We don't have any facts surrounding this. And Twitter is a venue where you're allowed to express your opinions and beliefs. And but just certainly, to be clear, so that's I, not based on any facts. That's uh, just Of course, your it couldn't belief. possibly be based on facts. We don't have any, any evidence other than the fact that they're investigating it. But, I, I'll put uh, a Candace's uh, story. Yeah, I, I do want to finish this by just saying that um, it is my belief, when you take, take a look at the conversation, the things that have gone on and the increasing violence that's gone on, it has purely been a leftist t tactic to stall things, delay the administration, and to fearmonger. So um, as a matter of opinion, I do believe that when we get to the resolution, the bottom of this, and we do have facts, we're going to say that this is orchestrated by the I mean, left, but I by can, no means could, is that opinion rooted in any proof because yeah. we don't have anything yet I mean, to I, go I off could of. point. I could certainly point to Charlottesville. I could point to other acts that happen. I could point to Dylan Roof. I mean, there are certainly acts of but but do you that's see how he, far back you have to go to do that? Ago. Charlottesville? The, yeah, yeah. That was, that's literally starting at the, bit, the beginning of his administration. But, Look at all of the but things that's that have gone not, on. I don't, I don't want to have this debate because ugliness can come from both no, sides. No, I'm just saying that you, you brought but it up. But I do, so do want to ask I, you, I though. I'm just answering the question. So this is always very funny to me. when um, This happens with us sometimes where people um, start a conversation that's um, hostile and then it's like you know it's and, and debate is up for the mm -hmm. debate is up for grabs on that right but then when you start with a debate they say i don't really want to debate on this mm -hmm. like we, we get this all the time from other people all the time I, like, i'm not going to debate this and I'm, crystal ball is known for doing this she did this with uh, rfk jr mm -hmm. not too long ago on the COVID restrictions mm -hmm. and everything that happened she kept asking him questions about COVID because he was against a lot mm -hmm. of the, the the things that had the jab and all of that and she kept starting a fight with him. And then when he would answer it, because he did like a whole book and everything about it. Yeah. Whenever he, would an he had all this information. Yeah. And, I mean, and then as soon as he went to defend himself, she kept saying, oh, I don't want to have this argument with you. But you're asking him. <laughs> but you're asking you're, him. You're, 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 you're starting, you're yeah. picking, you're poking the bear. Mm -hmm. And then when the bear comes at you mm -hmm. and you don't have any facts to really back yourself up. Then you 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 play this victim. I don't want to get yeah. into the back and forth. And we get this. this happens with us a lot where people do this, and I'm like, no, no, no. And then sometimes they 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 all lose a kind of like a debate situation with us, and then they'll remove their comment mm -hmm. because they're losing, and it's just facts. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, so all it is just facts, but they're scared of facts, so they don't want that. But she's doing that that thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna I'm going to be hostile to her use towards you and I'm gonna prompt a question, mm -hmm. I'm gonna create a conversation real quick, but I'm gonna take it all back. Because you what know. Candace is saying is that what the left does is sensationalize they do. things. I mean, you've, you've got a big platform. I do. Right? And you have a powerful voice. Thank you. And kudos to you for creating that. Thank you. How do you view the responsibility that comes with that? I view the responsibility of just being a person that maintains my um, ability to have an opinion. I express an opinion and no means that I say that I have just found the facts and this is related. Yeah. Um, and I always you reserve the right. You said there's zero percent chance. Yeah. 
I said I'm going to go out and say that there is a zero percent chance that this was sent by conservatives. I find all of these, all the things that are going on, the caravan of illegals, the packages that are being sent, and you, Brett you Kavanaugh's think the cara- confirmation. And, and just clarify, you think the caravan too is organized by Democrats? I find it to Democrats. be incredibly suspicious timing, so that they are meant to to get to the border um, at you know on the day of the election. Again, this is not rooted in fact, but you do have to understand. I am very much entitled to my opinion, and Twitter is my platform. Candace, I have, one, I, have, I, have, I have one, one more. Just one more. Uh, just one more here. Because I, I did. I, I wanted to get to know you before you came on. Yeah. I'm really interested in your perspective For because sure. I think you're a fascinating person. Thank you. There was another tweet that said, the Democratic Party is comprised of racist white liberals. That is correct. Am I a racist white liberal? Well, let's go back. Um, and, and, and let's say, I will say this, that many people in the party don't, are not aware of their own racism. Let's go back to an early part of this conversation where you said to me, are you concerned about the color in the White House? Um, why, why would you ask me that question? Because you speak about black issues. No, but, and I but why would you, why would you ask me? Well, let's get to really the nucleus of this. Why did you ask me that question today? Because I'm Why did you feel that I needed to be concerned about that? Because you, you're bringing a whole group of young African American okay. leaders to the White okay. House. Okay, so this is something that I talk about often, is that in many ways, white liberals don't realize that you, you put on that, the racism and the, the conversations that so we you're, have. So you're are, saying I'm a racist. You haven't let me finish my statement. You keep okay. cutting me off. Go ahead. Okay? The emphasis that you place is always on having a discussion about race. Okay? You guys are insistent on having a conversation about race and telling us that we should see and implying that we should see race everywhere, and I don't agree with that. If you don't look at me according to the color of my skin, you would simply ask me how I thought that Trump was doing as a president. But instead, you try to drum up a conversation that's surrounded by race but by it, asking me, "Are there enough black people in the White House?" You're bringing a whole group of young black leaders you to the White color, House. You see color, I don't. That's something that's important to you. But why are you talking but about? But then why is it, why why make it a little that you're going to bring young black leaders to the White House? I mean, this is sort of absurd. This, because the media, as in the this whole, is absurd. this is absurd. You're bringing this group to the White it's, House. It's not absurd. I'm making so, perfect so, sense. But it's I just not want to be. I just logic. want to be clear. Yeah. I just want to be clear. I'm trying to be extremely clear. I know. I know. Bringing the black think, conservatives but to you the White me House as a racist white liberal. I think liberal. that you're not. A, first off, you put those words in my mouth, and you keep saying no, you it. Did, so you I'm not. It. I, I said that the Democrat Party is comprised of racist white liberals. Are, are, is every person in the party racist? No, but you're not aware of the fact that you put these racist tones out into the media. This is why we have to bring the black conservatives to the president because you create a narrative when you're on TV like you did today. Do you are think you comfortable? I'm going to have you on radio later because I have questions for I have questions for you, I have questions for you as well. But we actually have to get out of the segment now. We that which is helpful, though. I mean, just in terms of the national I, conversation. I, well, I can ask I, you, do you think I it's have, helpful to ask me, just because I'm a black woman, if I'm comfortable with the amount of color that's on the administration, do you think that that's helpful? I think it's helpful and interesting to it's know not, your perspective. It's not. It's you just trying to I'm create an in undertone that Donald You're Trump bringing, is racist, and no, it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But that's me, the listen, reason why. Listen, no, 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 no. I just want to say. I just want to say. You're looking at me on the basis of my skin color and making a bunch of you know, making a bunch of reductions. I did not. Here's what I want to say. You quoted a tweet and then you made it about me. I appreciate so you were not a Democrat. Added, but you were not added in that tweet, so do not say I'm that I called you that because that's you dishonest. And we are on prize. And we are and liberals. we are on TV, so you can run a racist. Okay, so you're you, I did not call you a racist. You're you're using the typical leftist tactic of trying to make yourself a victim. Which is not what I want to say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, but we're actually we're actually well beyond that. Well, she's making herself a victim and pretending that I came here and called her a racist. So this is a typical leftist tactic. That we not demonize our opponents. And I think it's important that you not demonize my president. And one thing that I try very hard to do is to criticize the policies and criticize people who are in positions of power. I'm not sure how you were doing that by pointing out the color in the administration. But not to criticize the people who support the president. You literally spoke That's about something I try color, very hard to do. But you're not doing a very good job of it. And I think it's it. really important. I think it's really important that you be aware that just because I'm a black woman, you don't need to ask me a question Americans. as basic enough as saying how much color is in the administration. to demonize our fellow I Americans? Think you know what's funny about this is that Candace is not changing her mannerisms. Not like, even mad. She's you know not even mad. She's so know, hostile. By the way, this is the, she. Crystal Ball is the reason why a lot of black people are the way they are. Yeah, that's true. She is a white liberal mm-hmm. that only thinks about race because they told her to, and yeah. they made her think that the whole world is based on your skin color. Right. She's opened yeah. up a can of worms about race mm-hmm. when she didn't have to. Because yeah. when she looks at Candace, all she sees is a black woman who's now a Republican, and she's mad. We get a I mean, look. We get white liberals who get really mad at oh, us because do. we're black yeah. and we won't think the way they want us to think. We had a white, we had a, a liberal, a white liberal person, <laughs> a few of them, but one, one that actually said to us, 
um, you're on the wrong side. You're black people. You're supposed to be on the um, the Democratic side, and the the you know the Republicans are the uh, conservative movement mm -hmm. is not for you as a for, as a black person. So here we have a white liberal trying to tell two black women mm -hmm. what how side think. how to think and what side we should be on. I said, sir, I as a black person have agency over myself. I can think for myself. My sister can think for herself. We don't need mm -hmm. you telling us what side we're supposed to be on. Sorry, but you are not talking to two overly emotional She's, black women. Right, we're not. I'm not overly emotional. It's not. You can, like you're that. not going to get to me like that. And that's you know, what they, they do. They do. They try to use black emotion to 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 push this stuff. And it's like I'm like no. So Candace is being very you know stoic and kind mm -hmm. of like normal, and it's making. Crystal uncomfortable. I think what's problematic is that you are creating a simulation that is dishonest, that is accusing our president okay. of being racist based off of the color of the people that are in the. That's exactly what you that. asked me a question. Yeah, that's right. what you implied. Okay, I, I actually really appreciate you two coming in very much, Thank and you. I look forward to getting Thanks, to ask guys. you some questions of my own at some point later on. I have actually <laughs> had conversations with white liberals, and you, you will. You, they, Man, they, no. they, oh, they love black people. Man, they when they get a hold of a black, black person that yeah. doesn't get triggered by feelings, oh, boy. you see the beast come it's out of them. They are angry, frustrated. Yeah. They lose the control. Yeah. They get really mad. All this uh, yeah. kumbaya movement, utopia, yeah. America, it all leaves them when they meet a black person that's not mm -hmm. moved by feelings and they want facts. And the thing is, is that, you know, because we're conservative, so when, we, when we're when we talking about political stuff to people, you know, in, in uh, real life, not just mm -hmm. in, you know, on YouTube, um, we, we, we take the emotion out of it. But it's like people are so animated. Mm -hmm. They're so upset. <laughs> They're seeing mm -hmm. two black people sit here and talk about um, because a Republican and conservative. They don't know who. I mean, their, their brain is swimming. Mm -hmm. Like you're not supposed and, and, to be and this not way even when you're talking about Republican or Democrat. I'm yeah. talking about just when you give them a fact. Fact. They lose. I'm not it. talking about policy yeah. poli party at all. Yeah. I'm saying when I give you a fact, and then they can't debate it. Something that they that they that, that is that's race related from yeah. the past and you give them a fact mm -hmm. back and you're not moved by they 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 lose it they 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 don't know how to deal with it right and the thing is is that Can Candace is not going to get to the breaking mm -hmm. point because she actually has done the research and she believes what she is saying like it's, it's, it's what she's saying is just true mm -hmm. so she feels comfortable there crystal however doesn't feel comfortable because what she's saying is she knows it's, it's pandering. And so when you're doing, when you're coming out of a place of truth, you feel very comfortable. When you come out of a place of pandering, you feel mm -hmm. very uncomfortable and you get agitated and, and aggravated very quickly. So that's why we're seeing this right here. Yeah, I was on Brandon. You know? I think I was on Brandon Tatum's mm -hmm. podcast. Anyway, he, he, uh, it was in his comments. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about slavery. Mm -hmm. And I said, black people own slaves too. Yeah. And some white lady came in and was just like, oh my God, you're brainwashed. They're not, they're, you know. I said, no, black, black people, people own, own, slaves own slaves in America. That happened. Like we did a Candace Owens video a couple weeks ago. Right. And somebody in our comments was like, well, um, you know, I can't believe that you guys believe what Candace, you know, is saying. She's a known liar. And they're just going on this spiel about how much of a liar Candace Owens is and whatever. And I'm just like, okay, you don't know how silly you sound. I'm a not liar. saying that I agree with, with everything she said. Everything I'm saying, Candace when I Owens. Do a re when we do a reaction yeah. and I'm looking at right. her reaction, I agree with this. I, like, it's weird. But that people say stuff mm -hmm. like that. I'm like, you get that... It's okay to agree with someone, mm -hmm. right? Like it's, that's not allowed either now. But tell us what you think about that. Um, Chris of Balls a Mess. Um, we like to hear, I love, I really wanted to hear what Charlie Kirk, I like him a lot. Charlie Kirk. He's <laughs> he was great. just enjoying the show. He's, like yeah. Was. He, <laughs> him and her co-host were just sitting back like, this is fantastic. This is great. Yeah, I love this. this Charlie is, was like, oh my God, my Candace God. is so good at this. She's, she's so I'm so good. glad she brought, she came to turn point. She does it now. <laughs> you guys seen all of her, um, like some of I told her. you, her and Tesla. That needs to happen. I know. Someone said, I don't think, I think Tesla's beneath her. Someone's in a comment. I think Tesla's beneath, beneath her. Of course she is. But then we want to see it. Of course she is. But can you imagine that ego be being brought down a few pegs by someone who doesn't give a shit? It's not emotional. Because Tesla's Or your really, attitude. Yeah, because Tesla's really emotional. It's true. Um, but anyways, just for comments below, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you have not done that yet. We would greatly appreciate that. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah.